Sandy, would you please call the roll? Ms. Johanna Hergit? Here. Matthew Williams? Here. Frank Moyer? Here. Lillipold? Here. Here. Well, I just want to take a moment to thank you all for coming. This is an important night. My name is Steve Grotto, Superintendent. It's my pleasure to be here. It's an important night because people are getting recognized for some very special things. We're going to start with our valedictorian, salutatorian, and then our candidates for tenure, and then our distinguished retirees. So I'm really glad so many parents have come. And when we're done with that, we'll take a little break from the board meeting, and we'll go out in the hall and have some refreshments and chat with everyone. So I'm going to let Ms. Hergit is going to announce our valedictorian and salutatorian, I believe, first of all. So I would like to uh, recognize Sophia Lawyer for the valedictorian. Congratulations, Sophia. Would you like to tell us where you're going to school and what you're going to do? Because we want to know. Sure. I'm going to Binghamton University and I'm going to study computer science. Congratulations. Congratulations. The pride of our school. We appreciate all you've done. Thank you. By the way, these two outstanding students are getting recognized a few different times. So this is not the first time we've been together at a celebration, but Lauren, you want to tell us what your plans are? So I'm going to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, and I'm going to be majoring in biological neuroscience. Congratulations and thanks for all of your hard work. So now we're going to go on to the tenure. Thank you. I would like to have a motion to approve the tenure recommendations. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> That's pretty easy. <laughs> All right, thank you. So, um, congratulations to our Valedictorian and Salutatorian. We're going to have cake with you guys in just a minute, but we have to recognize the teachers who have are up for tenure right now. In case you're not familiar with the rules in New York State, in order to be eligible for tenure in New York State, you have to work for four years successfully, unless you've been tenured beforehand, in which case you have to work for three years. So all the people on this list have put in excellent work here at our school for at least the last three or four years, and they deserve to be recognized for that. So I think we're gonna first have uh, our high school principal, Dr. Samuel Sims, come up and speak about a couple of people who worked for her in her building. Good 
Good evening and congratulations to you all. I'd like to speak uh, about Mr. Brian Balstead. Is he here tonight? All right. So Mr. Balstead, he serves as a Spanish teacher in our world language department. He um, has taught previously in Pennsylvania for five, five years prior to joining the Paul City School District. He has a passion for the subject he teaches and it's evident in the engaging activities that he creates in his classroom. He takes great care in collaborating with his colleagues to prepare students for the next language level. Mr. Balstead has worked um, as a New Paltz Varsity Girls Swimming Coach in a 21-22 school year. And the New Paltz Modified Track, he was a New Paltz Modified Track Coach uh, during the 21-22 school year and presently. He is a frequent panelist for the Seal of Bioliteracy program, and he's also a volunteer help helper for the Interact Club. Congratulations, Mr. Ball. Uh, All right. <laughs> and on to Mr. Pierce Davis. All right, he's here too. He's a special education teacher. Uh, he previously taught in New York City Department of Education. Currently, he teaches special education at the high school. Mr. Davis has been a part of the faculty since 2018. He has always demonstrated exceptional teaching skills regardless of the diversity of learning needs. He has been a pillar of the After School Academy program which supports students in their pursuit of program completion and graduation. Mr. Davis has coached the Unified Bowling Team alongside Coach Vance. Congratulations, Mr. Davis. least is Miss Fiona McKenna here. Yes, yes she's here. Uh, she's an English teacher at the high school. She has prior experience working for the Poughkeepsie School District. Uh, Miss McKenna works collaboratively with her colleagues in helping shape the current English curriculum. She is a former NPHS student, so she is well connected to the school and community. Many students express how approachable she is and she has an excellent rapport with them. This year, she has coordinated the return of the Poetry Out Loud comp competition to NPHS and the Regional Spelling Bee. She has also served as advisor for the Student Literary Magazine, um, and that was during the 2018-2019 school year. Congratulations on your tenure. <laughs> here, my dear friend Allison Easton, and my husband Jimmy McKenna. All right, thank you. So next we'll uh, welcome Miss Ann Sheldon here to be our middle school presenter. and honor for speaking for Miss Krista Potomsky for receiving tenure tonight. She's taken a roundabout path to get to this evening as she is actually finishing her 10th year in our district. She began her, began her time in New Paltz as a student teacher with Miss Joy Gallagher, a now retired and beloved Lenape art teacher or Lenape art teacher. From there, she was called to an interview as an art teacher at the high school. She was a little worried about the interview as she had just been in a serious accident and was on crutches. But she persevered, she went through the interview, she was offered and accepted the job, which split her time initially between the middle school and the high school as an art teacher. And speaking with her about her time at New Paltz, she revealed to me that due to the accident, she was unable to drive and therefore took a taxi 
between the buildings. I'm not sure that anyone really knew about that. Probably would be upset that we knew that was happening. But it defines who Krista is. She's fiercely independent and she's a problem solver. She continued to work as an art teacher and had the opportunity to also teach part-time in a tech position that was not filled and she became split between technology and art. During that time, she fell in love with Woodshop and decided to go back to school to pursue a certification in this area. We're thankful she did, as she has been teaching Project Lead the Way from the inception of it in our district. Her time is now spent teaching Project Lead the Way in both Lenape and the middle school. At Lenape, she teaches a Project Lead the Way course called Launch, which is the beginning level of Project Lead the Way for elementary students. She also has the training to teach multiple Project Lead the Way courses at, at the middle school and at the high school. App creators, science of technology, design and modeling, computer science for innovators and makers, and green architecture. During her time here at New Paltz Central School District, she has set up and assisted with multiple art shows. She's a founding member of the middle school AV club where the students create our morning announcements. She chaperoned many field trips and in fact has organized a couple of grade level field trips to Motorcyclopedia. She has shared her other expertise by holding yoga activities for both students and staff members on multiple occasions, AKA our wellness days. She assisted with the high school yearbook and has supported our play at the middle school as well. Krista has many talents and interests outside of teaching she is a trusted local mechanic. She enjoys building and remodeling, and we share a common interest in riding motorcycles. Beyond her exceptional teaching skills, she has consistently gone above and beyond to create a nurturing and inspiring classroom community. Tonight, I offer my heartfelt congratulations and gratitude. Thank you for your tireless efforts, your unwavering support, and your commitment to educational excellence. Congratulations, Krista. Yes. <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to my mom who came all the way from South Carolina tonight. <laughs> every summer in every subject before I was allowed to go out and play with my friends. And that's probably why I am where I am today, so thank you. All right, next we'll have Mr. Ingley from the Lenape School. Um, I am honored to present Miss Amy Haas. Miss Haas came to us from another school district four years ago. She was a special ed teacher within the building of fourth grade. Right from the beginning, I was impressed with her professionalism and her attributes that she possessed. She quickly became an important part of the community within Wernape. She cares for her students and provides support to all. Ms. Haas has built strong relationships with the students in her classroom and their families. Ms. Haas is able to support the students within the classroom so they are able to grow academically and emotionally. Congratulations on receiving tenure. It is well deserved. Next, I have the honor to present Ms. Francesca Houston. Ms. Houston has taught for both fourth and fifth grade. We are lucky to have all of our talented tenure candidates, and Ms. Houston definitely falls under that category, talented. Her understanding of student development and growth has, has enhanced the instruction she provides. Ms. Houston reflects often on her profession and delivery of the curriculum. She has built strong relationships with the students and families that are in her classroom. When I visit the classroom, the feeling is one of trust, caring, and engagement. Ms. Houston has high expectations for all of her students, both academically and in maturity. This is the perfect balance that allows students to grow. Congratulations on receiving tenure. Again, it is well deserved.
Uh, I have my family in one row, they're all right there. <laughs> um, but also to a shout out to many colleagues that I see here, really, this is all done with your support, so thank you. Wait, when Valerie Torn is leaving and I forgot to give her something. <laughs> Sophia, come on back up, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you told us you had to leave early. We understand completely. There you go. That's a certificate for you. And, and Lauren, one for you as well. My fault for not giving you his name sooner. Next, I have Brittany Mickley. Is she here? Well, just a few words about Brittany. Um, she came to us four years ago in a, in a position that's a little unique. She split between Duzine and Lenape as a reading specialist and also a coach at Lenape. And she's morphed that position into one that supports reading, advocates for students, and models lessons for classroom teachers. She communicates with teachers to ensure that they feel supported and heard. The staff seeks out her knowledge and expertise to grow their professional in their professional capacity. Congratulations on tenure. Perfect. And lastly, for tenure, I'm honored to present Christine Pallas. She teaches third grade within our building. Ms. Pallas has shown that she understands and takes into consideration the many aspects of teaching. Above all, Ms. Pallas is professional, reflective, and is willing to ensure her students find success. Providing instruction in a challenging, thoughtful, caring manner allows her students to take risks and flourish as young learners. Ms. Ms. Pallas applies the many strategies that she has gained over the years expertly. Congratulations on receiving tenure. It is well deserved. Hogan from Duzine. Thank you. Uh, I will start off with Ms. Michaela Schaller. Is she here tonight? I guess I'm going to read a few words about uh, Michaela. So, Ms. Schaller is a reading teacher at Duzine. Um, uh, although she has been on maternity leave for the last couple of years, she's no stranger to Duzine. Prior to her time as a reading teacher, uh, Ms. Schaller was also a tenured special education teacher in the New Paltz Central School District. Ms. Schaller has a love and passion for literacy that is exhibited in her work. She, was always, she is always a positive, bubbly presence. Ms. Schaller is a pleasure to be around her students feed off of her positivity. Ms. Schaller is also a lifelong learner. Even throughout her maternity leave, Ms. Schaller has shared literacy resources with colleagues, chimed in with her thoughts on the direction we are heading in our literacy work, and exhibited an eagerness and excitement to return to her program. I enthusiastically support Ms. Schaller's appointment to tenure. Her wealth of knowledge and experience will be a gift to the district for years to come. I want to recognize Ms. Chelsea Becker, who I see back there. Uh, it is difficult to put into words the value that Ms. Becker has added to our school community in four short years. Ms. Becker is a special education teacher at Duzine who has taught second grade integrated co teach for one year, as well as our 812 self contained class for the last three years. I'd like to highlight uh, Ms. Becker's talents and positive traits and a few anecdotes about her. And I'm going to go off script a little bit, so wish me luck, Chelsea. <laughs> Uh, so one of uh, my earlier members of Chelsea is actually her first year when we were going out uh, on lockdown. We had no idea what was going on. It was the last day before uh, we found out that we weren't coming back to school. And we were trying to figure out what to give the students as they walked out the door because we knew that we wouldn't see them for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, Chelsea was a, in a second grade classroom at the time and we're all sort of in this back and forth discussion as to what it should look like. And Chelsea said, you know what, forget it. And she put together a, a packet, uh, what seemed like practically by herself, 
and then was furiously making copies at like 2.30 in the afternoon, right before the kids walked out the door. And uh, if you're a second grade parent that year, that packet that kids went home with was uh, thanks to Miss Becker. She's that type of teacher that's a problem solver and just uh, gets right down to it. Uh, I also want to highlight in the fall of 2020 when we were returning from COVID, uh, Ms. Becker reached out to me along with uh, one of her colleagues at the time, Ms. Gigliotti, and advocated to return to the school building uh, as early as possible in the fall of 2020. And her argument was clear. It was a, it was a great argument, which was that her kids learn best in person. Uh, and she was right. And she was a trailblazer. Um, she's part of the reason why we returned to the building uh, when we did. And I just want to recognize that uh, that's something about Chelsea that she always puts student for, students first. Uh, if you enjoyed Duzine's Trunk or Treat, thank Ms. Becker. Uh, and she goes above and beyond a daily basis, whether it's spending her prep uh, in her students' special area classes to ensure their success, serving as our building social committee chair, or working closely with a team of specialists to plan a new sensory space for Duzine, which is how she spent her afternoon today. Um, I think the district should be uh, actively seeking an answer to the question, how do we find more special education teachers like Chelsea Becker? So. Is it using? Is Dave Morgan here? No. All right. Well, uh, I will say a few words about Dave. Dave has been uh, one of our custodians at Duzine for the last nine years. Uh, he has previously retired from the New York State Bridge Authority. And um, I think many staff members would agree with me when I say that Dave is truly the light of Duzine. Uh, he always has a smile on his face. He always goes the extra mile for his staff and students. Um, and I will say that my office happens to be very close to the custodial office, and Dave and I share a love of 80s and 90s country, uh, which we will always uh, talk about and, and reminisce. Um, but truly, we are very lucky to have Dave, and luckily, uh, even after his retirement, he's come back practically every day or so, so we're very blessed in that way. Uh, the next retirement I want to recognize is Roger Peck. Uh, Roger Peck is our head custodian at Duzine. He has 35 years of service in the district, which to me is remarkable. He shares a story that uh, when he first started, it was the last year of Mr. Bassett, uh, the former uh, principal at um, Duzine. And uh, when he came in, uh, Mr. Bassett said, oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Bassett. You won't be seeing him anymore because I'm retiring. Um, but he's one of the few people that worked with him. I, when I first met him, I took Roger to be a bit of an intimidating presence, but what I've come to know over the last several years is that he's a gentle, caring, and compassionate soul. Um, he's an amazing custodian, very knowledgeable. He also happens to be an animal lover, uh, and that manifests itself in his work because uh, Roger's famous for having heart traps. He cannot uh, do any harm to any animal that he finds in Duzine. He will make sure that they make it out safe. Um, so I just wanted to recognize Roger and all of his accomplishments over the years. Thanks, nice job. C country music. Huh? <laughs> uh, so, so we've recognized our teachers who are getting tenure and our students, and and so I would have to say that you know you heard great things about about these teachers and our students. The, the future looks bright, that we are able to generate wonderful students like, like Sophia and Lauren, and we've got these great teachers who are gonna be working for us for a while and doing great things for us. So the future looks bright. Uh, the, the past looks bright too. We have several retirees here. Uh, four, we have four retirees here tonight, several on the list, so I'm just gonna go down the list for you. Some people are better at retirement than others. Have you noticed that? Yeah, like, like Mary Letterer. <laughs> Not so good. She came back this year, she's back in the summer, pretty sure she's going to be back more. <laughs> but some of these people are good at it, like uh, Michelle Martoni, Roberta Schwartz, Stella Tompkins, 
David Morgan, Deneen Jackson, and Roger Peck. So we certainly wish them all well, and when the administrators come up, if they want to say something about them, they can. We're going to start with uh, those who are here. So we'll have uh, Samuel L. Sims come back up, and she's got a couple of distinguished retirees to speak about. I know Ms. Costello is here, Ms. Stephanie Costello. Uh, she has served the district for 34 years as a high school chemistry teacher. She has been the advisor for student government for many years. I don't know how many years. The whole time, for 34 years. Miss <laughs> um, Costello will be remembered for her dedication to students, her welcoming smile, her laugh, and her smooth dance moves. Fun fact. She was a New Paltz grad herself, and she taught a great number of New Paltz uh, City School District staff. So thank you. Congratulations on your retirement. And we do have here Ms. Wild, Ms. Jackie Wild. She has served the district for 22 years as a high school special education teacher. She has been a contributing member to her department and our school community. Ms. Wild is a dear part of the New Paltz community and she will be remembered by her students for the unwavering support that she gives them. Congratulations on your retirement. I have the honor and pleasure of introducing Ms. Lauren O'Malley as our teacher retiree from the middle school. I first met Lauren as a mom of Mason in my fifth grade class, which was just a couple of years ago. Uh, he's in college. She was supportive and asked excellent questions. And then the next time I met Lauren was when I went to work at the middle school and I worked with her in a much different capacity. She has worked in New Paltz Central School District since 2003, so this is her 20th year. She actually was a founding member of our FLESS Foreign Language and Elementary School program in Duzine, where she taught for three years. After her time at Duzine, she came to the middle school where she stayed for 17 years. Something about that middle school. It's good stuff there. During her time at the middle school, Lauren taught countless students. My estimation is about 1,800 students immersed in a love of language during her tenure at New Paltz Central School District. She has inspired students to embrace the love of language and culture. Her passion for teaching was evident in every lesson as she skillfully wove, wove together grammar, vocabulary, and cultural immersion, creating an environment that nurtured curiosity and fostered a love of learning. Being in Lauren's classroom was always an inspiring experience. Music, interactive technology, personal connection, student engagement, and real world connections were always part of her classes. Lauren is a lifelong learner, as evidenced by her continuing her educational experience by going to administrative school later in her career. She never had the opportunity to complete her internship but she knows that the knowledge she gained enhanced her overall approach to teaching and learning. She also ran our student newspaper, The Mirror, for a few years where she met with students after school and created many wonderful and interesting editions of the middle school newspaper, which is available on our website, and I encourage you to go and see them. On a personal side, Lauren is a great adventurer. A couple of summers ago, she bought a van converted into a semi-camper, and yes, she did the construction herself, and then she ventured cross-country to see the West and experience sleeping under the vast sky. Her stories were amazing. Throughout her tenure, she has left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of students, inspiring them to embrace the beauty and richness of language and culture. We wish you all the best on your next adventure, Lauren, 
You will be missed at New Paltz Middle School. Congratulations. And for our, our last retiree, uh, Mr. Ingley, once again. So I have the honor of introducing somebody who's been around for 28 years within the district. Uh, she has many names that uh, she's been trying to teach me how to say her name. So it's gone from Mary, Murray. <laughs> um, she also wears many hats in the district over the last 28 years. She's been a social worker, coordinator of student services, an intern principal. She's done many, many things. I'm sure I've left some out. Um, but she's uh, done a wonderful job at each of those, and we truly appreciate her. When I first came to the district, Mary took me under her wings right away and showed me the ropes. From the start, I thought Mary was a wonderful person and someone I had I have learned to I have learned to rely on. I say this because it proves the type of person Mary is toward everyone. She is thoughtful, has a great sense of humor, and empathetic to people's needs. Over the 28 years, I know she leaves behind many valuable relationships, wise advice, and many, many funny stories that could not be shared <laughs> in the building. For all of those reasons and many more, Mary, you will be missed. Oh, and from the board minutes, I guess, welcome back. <laughs> Congratulations. So, spoiler alert, in these boxes is a nice clock with their name and um, years of service on there, so in case you're wondering what's in there. So we would now like to invite you all to come out into the hall for a brief ceremony. We'll, we'll reconvene in, I forget, oh, I forgot the board members. We were going to do those later, weren't we, at the end? No, just kidding. All right. <laughs> and we have two retiring board members as well. I don't know if retiring is the right word, but uh, who would like to speak first? We have two board members finishing this year. Uh, we are so grateful for the dedication they've shown to this district and to our community, volunteering countless hours of their time for the kids. Um, Brian Knoyer, he's served three terms, and Teresa Thompson has served two terms. Um, it's been really great to serve with both of you. Anyone else? I know other board members wanted to say a few words as well. I want to congratulate all the uh, retirees and the people getting tenure. Congratulations. It's an amazing achievement. Uh, Brian, congrats. Three terms. Uh, Teresa, uh, you know, you the Frank Sinatra song. You did it your way, Teresa. Uh, so, you know, you're passionate and you made sure you had your views and you got your views out. Uh, you know, through everything though, you always talked about the kids, you know. Not only did you talk about the kids, you, you talked the walk and you walked the walk. You would go to the bistro, you'd cook our kids pancakes at two o'clock in the morning after the prom, you were at games making cookies, you were all over the district promoting the district. You have been a complete asset to this district. and You've been a great school board member. Uh, thank you for your service. We'll miss you. I admire not only your commitment to meeting the students, but also your calm demeanor. 
and your ability to take the time to understand all sides of the mission before bringing the raw product out and deeply informed the family. Over the years, there have been many issues threatening public education. You've always stood up for children and bucked harmful education policies, even when there are many who took um, an easier road and just kind of went along with them. And you've always been willing to engage in challenging conversations and to me out on things, even when I used to walk on the um, I don't know that anyone um, who hasn't been on the school board understands exactly how much work goes into it behind the scenes. Um, but most of it takes place behind the scenes. And it's an enormous amount of time away from your family and other things. And the fact that you did this for nine years is incredible. Um, and while you've inspired me in many ways, you will not inspire me to, <laughs> to run for another term. <laughs> but thank you for your service and for everything you've done for this. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. And I know that we'll it's been a pleasure. It really has. Yeah, and real quickly to, you know, to Brian, as, as Bianca said, you know, the, the one thing, if I've learned anything, it's that when Brian speaks, you know, that's when you really stop and listen because, uh, you know, what about to come, what is about to come out uh, is, is going to gonna really mean something. So, uh, better stop speaking and, uh, and uh, I'll always be listening and uh, your uh, commitment to public education has been uh, pretty, pretty staggering. So, thanks, Brian. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Bill. Thank you so much. my children and all the district's children and thank you Brian who was the first uh, board member to reach out to me way back in 2017 when I joined the board and didn't know anybody and Brian reached out and I will always remember that and uh, it's been a pleasure working with all of you. I'm your great people. This is by far one of the best boards I've ever been on and uh, just yeah thanks. Okay, I haven't forgotten anything else except I should give a shout out to the two people who put all this together. That would be Dr. Wendell R. Marks and Sandy Irmo who did everything here today. So thank you guys for the <laughs> And now, if you'll join us in the uh, in the lobby for a brief uh, brief reception, we'll come back at 7:25. Right back here. Thank you.